Today, we'll be trying out Gary's Quick Steak. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason. Here on this channel, I do food and product reviews. Like I said, today we have Gary's Quick Steak, real steak, real fast. Um, now, this isn't a new product in general. It's been out for some time. It's a new product at Sam's Club. We just got this in. Uh, we we're stocking it today on the shelves, or in the cooler, I guess. I was like, oh, that sounds delicious. I'll pick it up and try it out and let you know how it is. So, quick steak. I got some, I got some sub buns out there. I bought some peppers. So I will go and cook it up and see if this is something worth picking up. Um, it was like, I think it was $14 for this. 14 something, 14.44, somewhere in that range. Um, could vary depending on your Sam's Club location and or other stores. I think Walmart has it, I believe. I think there's some other places. It isn't an exclusive to Sam's Club. 36 ounces or 2.25 pounds. Cooks from frozen. So as you can see on here. So 100% sirloin beef, thinly sliced, all natural thin sliced steak. No preservatives and gluten free. No artificial ingredients. Nine servings per package. Let's see, keep frozen meals in minutes. So we're gonna sizzle for 30 seconds, flip at the 31 second mark, and then cook for another two minutes and 30 seconds, or until the internal cook temperature is 165. Cooks directly from frozen, preheat the skillet or pan to medium high, place Gary's quick steak frozen portions, portions on the pan skillet, add while the seasoning. So they have a little packet of seasoning, optional, but they recommend it. I think I'm gonna skip on the seasoning. I just wanna taste this without any of the seasoning in there. Flip after 30 seconds, flip Gary's quick steak with a spatula to the other side. As the steak begins to brown, separate the slices into, with the spatula. Cook until the product reaches internal temp of 165. Okay, so nine servings, easy open package. What I'm hoping, and I don't think it is because I've kind of looked up online to try to figure out if it was, it's nine servings. I'm hoping it's nine individual servings in here. I don't wanna cook all this up at once and it'd be easier if they already have it separated. So you can just make it that way. And it's not, but I think they have changed it because the review that I read, someone wrote a review online and said it was one big thing. Well, this isn't, so it's three separate different packets, which is nice. And then they have them divided, sorta. Well, I guess kinda, I can't really tell. To where you would, you know, if you wanna just make one, two, and three. So that's nice. So I'm a little happier with that because I'm only gonna make up one portion. I'm just gonna make one sandwich. And then I can keep these ones, reseal these. And it looks like you have a wow packet. One packet for three. But like I said, I am gonna skip on the seasoning. I do have peppers. I'm gonna cook those up with it. I'm not gonna put cheese. I don't like, I'm not a huge cheese fan. I, if I went someplace and got like a Philly cheese steak, I'd, I'd just go with a Philly steak and get it without cheese. Weird, I don't know. I just don't like steak on it. So let me go cook this up and I'll be right back and we'll try it out. Okay, so I have my skillet heating up. So while that's heating up, I thought I'd open this on camera so you can see it. it says on here, easy. Easy open package. Okay. We'll see how easy this is to open. It works a little better if you have a little bit of fingernail because you got to try to separate that. There's not much to grab onto. So once you get it, I would call this easy. I mean, this is sealed up pretty good. It would be nice if it had a, like a Ziploc opening so I could, you know, take the one piece I want out of it and reseal it. Okay. So. Trying to see if it's kind of perforated a, a little bit. You can kind of see it kind of goes in there. So I'm that's where you would, oh, there you go. Just break it off. You know what this reminds me of? 
and it's been a very, very long, long time. It's just vaguely uh, bringing back memories of fish food. And I'm trying to remember what type of fish. We had Oscars, we had little mini sharks. It was one of those that you would have like frozen meat like this. And how did you do it? Did you just break it up and throw it in the water? I don't know. I'm. It's reminded me something of some sort of frozen meat for that I think we had for fish that we kept in the freezer. And I don't know. Maybe I'm completely lost on that. If you know, if you, is there like fish food that you would keep frozen like that? That you'd feed certain fish with? I, like I said, it's been a very, very long time ago that we had fish. And that's what I'm thinking of. So this is what I'm talking about. I wish this could, it's easy open. I wanna reseal it, but I can't. So I'm gonna put this all in a Ziploc bag, go throw that in the pan and cook it up. So this is nice that at least you can separate it to where I don't have to make all nine at once. You know, you can make three or you can just break one off and make one and seal it back up. So let me go cook this up and be right back. Okay, I'm back. I literally almost just, as I made it all the way to the table, I was carrying the box. I had this, actually I had this on top of my water and carrying it like that. And I made it all the way here and it started to go. Almost dropped it all over, but I made it. Okay. Let me first off say this was ridiculously easy to make. Heat your pan up, medium high. Um, while that was, so then I came back and opened it for you. So I went out there, the pan was heated up. I threw my peppers in first for like a minute, just get those cooking. And then threw the meat in there, let it cook for 30 seconds. You flip that patty over, because it's still in like a patty form. And then I set a timer for two minutes, 30 seconds. As it starts to cook, I just slowly start separating it with a spatula. You know, it's all chopped up like that and just kind of stirred around with the peppers, let it cook for two minutes and 30 seconds. And then boom, throw it on my sub bun here. Um, losing some peppers. I think if I enjoy this, I will pick up, like I said, I'm not a huge cheese fan, like sliced cheese, but like nacho cheese, I think would go good on this. So I think if I enjoy this, I will pick up some nacho cheese. All right, I wanna try this before it starts getting cold. And maybe, I didn't toast the bun, maybe toast the bun next time. Hmm. I just want to pull some of that bun off so I can get to the. Yeah, and the meat, really good flavor of meat. Again, I didn't use the seasoning. I don't know how the seasoning would be on it. You could try it. Leave it in the comments below if you've tried it with the seasoning. It's fine without it. Like I said, if I had some nacho cheese on here, this would be fire. This, this is good. This is definitely good. I think I will do some more peppers next time. Like I said, I am going to get some cheese. Toasting the bun. I guess I could toast it a little bit. It's not bad not being toasted. But that's pretty darn good. Like I said, and so simple. Um, nutrition facts on this. So like I said, there's nine servings per container. So one serving is, this is one serving, 170 calories. So not a whole lot of calories in here. Eight grams of fat, 55 milligrams of sodium, one carb, 23 grams of protein. I'm liking this a lot. Calories are low, protein is high, sodium is low. Oh my goodness. I can tell you right now, my freezer will be stocked full of these. Like I, I'm trying to, I wouldn't say I'm trying to eat healthier. I try to eat because I work out a lot. I've lost like 33, 34 pounds in the last eight months. And I take like to take in a lot of protein because I lift weights a lot. So this delicious, low in calories, high in protein. This is good. I literally may run to the store right now. Well, after I edit this video and put it up so you can see it to get some cheese, some nacho cheese on here. 
because I may have another one. It's six o'clock. I may have another one before I go to bed tonight. A snack. This is so good. Okay. Instead of sitting here and eating it all, let me finish the video for you. Yeah, definitely going to get cheese to put on there. Nacho cheese. That's, you know, like the cheese, not cheese whiz. Because I think if you get a Philly cheesesteak like in Philadelphia, I haven't been there. Leave in the comments below if you have. They put on like nacho cheese, right? They don't put like a slice of cheese. So like that nacho cheese would be delicious. And like I said, yeah, I think I would, the more I eat it, the bun would be a little better if it was toasted. But that is really, really good. Gary's Quick Steak, and I've read some other reviews online. People are like, oh, Walmart has their own version, and then there's like Steakums. I haven't tried either of those. The person that wrote that review said, this is much better, and this is good. 100% sirloin beef, thinly sliced, gluten-free, no preservatives. It's delicious. Leave in the comments below. Have you tried Gary's Quick Steak? ridiculously quick, so easy. I'm not like a professional cook at all. So for me to be able to make this and do it within, from the time I heat the pan to that, within what, five to seven minutes, you got yourself a steak sandwich. Absolutely delicious at Sam's Clubs now. So if you're a member of Sam's Club, if you're not, go ahead and sign up and don't forget to because we're supposed to get one person a day. So I'm gonna try to get all of you. If you're Sam's Club members, do the scan and go. Sign up for scan and go, especially if you come to the Muskegon store and say, Jason signed you up for scan and go. You don't have to wait in line. You, you pick this up at the freezer, scan it with your phone. You can check out on your phone. You have your credit card in there and you're good to go. You just show them at your, your phone when you, you leave and they'll scan it and be like, okay, you're good. You don't have to wait in the long lines at the cash register. There you go. Gary's Quick Steak at Sam's Club now. Leave in the comments below. Have you tried it? What do you think of it? I say it is a banger. It's absolutely delicious. I mean, I can't give it a 10 out of 10. Probably an actual Philly cheesesteak would be better. No, I haven't had one. This is pretty darn good. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. There you go. If you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I will see you in the next video. And I'm gonna have some more of the sandwich.